Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. The new musical Groundhog Day, which is based on the hit film, will open on April 17th at the August Wilson Theater. And we drop by the rehearsal room to bring you a sneak peek and to meet the company led by the show's leading man, Andy Carl. Never again will I wake in the morning in Puxitani. Nothing more depressing than small town in the USA And there is no town smaller than Puxitani on Groundhog There's nothing more depressing than small town in the USA And there is no town smaller than Puxitani on Puxitani on Puxitani on Groundhog Just kill me now you know, we did a tryout of this show at the Old Vic Theatre in London, but really this is the, uh, the beginning, really, of a, a quintessentially American story done with an American cast, and uh, it's a story that I care a lot about, and I'm, I'm excited for the surprises that are in store. I think people who know Groundhog Day might not realise what kind of emotional... Uh, impact it can have and um, it's a strange mixture of comedy romance and quite sort of in-depth profound almost wisdom it's kind of parable about how to live your life and I love that mashup of those things so I'm excited to surprise people Imagine working with Tim and Matthew for the last four years really um, has been just such a pleasure it's been the best collaboration I've ever had was it always a dream of yours at some point to turn this into a musical, or how did it happen for you? Yes, I knew from very early on that this was something that I wanted to do, and I knew that I had the ability to do it, and it was just a matter of getting around to it and finding the right partners. So talk about the concept of how the music and the lyrics fit into the story. Completely. The, it was completely integrated. We, Tim and I were together on it from the very beginning, and I brought in my ideas and he brought in his and we worked them together and, and sometimes uh, these great ideas would pop up in a lyric and sometimes they'd pop up in a scene and it was a, a very long conversation that, that went on until we felt we got it right. A man my age, it's nice to know I can, it's nice to know I can. On surface, you would say she's perhaps one of those, I only care what I look like and my hair and my makeup and, you know, outward appearances, is the initial thought. But then luckily in the musical and what they've done brilliantly is you get to see kind of the underlayer and a bit deeper than that, which is, is what really drew me to the character and which I think they do so brilliantly in this. Was this one of your favorite movies that you sort of grew up on? I had seen Groundhog Day, but when I had the audition, I had to go back and watch it again. And it's one of those, you go, oh, yeah, this is such a good movie. And then you go, oh, yeah, it's really funny. I forgot how funny it was. And then you think, oh, and it really wraps up nicely at the end. And it's this beautiful romantic comedy. It must be really cool to have like one of your favorite movies that you were sort of brought up on and now you're like starring in the musical version. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing and I'm a big fan of Stephen Tobolowsky who plays Ned Ryerson in the movie and uh, I really hope to be able to meet him and say hey, you know, <laughs> and, um, and uh, uh, you know, the character is... Uh, He's an amazing guy. He's a Midwestern guy. He is, he's happy and he smiles through everything and he's got that Midwestern charm and optimism and he's kind of the opposite of Phil, but it's a, it's a real joy to play him. And for fans of the movie, we have uh, uh, a little surprise about Ned um, and who he is and I can't wait to share that with people. One day, someday, my prince may come, but I won't hold my breath. There's only divorces and weirdos left And weird is fine, but not all the time One day, someday, my prince will come Or so the fairy tale said Thirty years later, it's still in my head That if I screw a frog, I will wake in a four-poster bed Not a brand new musical! Oh god, it's so exciting. It's what I've always wanted to do, you know, I... I, I that's why it was so, I mean, it blew me out of the water when I got the call about this. I was so excited. And the show, 
coming from the movie, which I was a fan of when I was a kid, is it just all came full circle. It's really amazing. Talk about this great role that's sort of sure. being put, made for you. Yeah. Well, Rita is um, a strong, smart, sarcastic, <laughs> kind of too loud, too too aggressive sometimes, but she know, she's got a lot going on, and I think that's what's so fun about it. I love being able to kind of stretch her and see how many directions we can take her because she sort of talks too much, laughs too loud. She's that kind of person. Well, first of all, welcome back to Broadway, my friend. How does it feel? They keep calling me back in. It's a Groundhog Day. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's a great return uh, to Broadway after being in London with this show um, and being able to revisit it again has been so much fun. I thought it was going to be like, oh, I get to say my lines, everybody, everybody catch up to me. It's just all about me. It's not. It's um, What's great about the show is that it's such an exploratory thing through myself but also with the other characters in the show. And this cast is just phenomenal. You know, I was talking to your director, Matthew said, you do everything and you do it so well. You do comedy, you act, you sing, the emotional journey this character takes you on and you as a leading man. I mean, what's it been like working on this? You know, when you work on a brand new show, it's all made on you and for you. Yeah, I think, well, look, I was given a gift when they handed me that script because it's really funny and it explores this piece, Groundhog Day, in a whole another like uplifted way we can go a little bit darker we can go a little bit funnier we can do a lot of things that you can't do with a movie um, obviously you can cut and you know repeat the same days but here on stage it's got to be seen over and over again so that's gonna be a big surprise when people watch the magic of that it's gonna be so fun um, but yeah I think that's what drew me to this piece was when it, once I got to the end of the page I realized that you know Bill Connors is the antagonist in the beginning and becomes this profound protagonist at the end. And there's this huge journey. And he basically lives lifetimes over and over and over again. I think I love that concept of that idea. It speaks to so many of us that, you know, I mean, I've been in these studios, I can't tell you how many times, and there's some easy things to draw off of when, I'm, when I think of the repeating thing. I could just look at everything and I've seen this all before. What am I doing with my life? Am I not appreciating it? Um, so there's some big, big lessons to be learned with the show, and I, that's what I really am so drawn to this piece, and I can't wait to show everybody. I know now.